police will tell you it's one of the biggest concerns they have about high school students. Drinking and driving, it's incentive enough to have educational programs to boost awareness. But for some instructors at Fountain Fort Carson High School, it's personal. KRDO News Channel 13's Greg Miller takes a closer look at their efforts. Over the bottom, you have arms. Okay. <laughs> A teenager often feels invincible, but the lesson today is about how they're not. Came to us and wanted to uh, expose their, their, their students to DUI classes and uh, safety belt classes. The lessons they're learning can be the difference between life and death. Just ask Robert Scott, a CSPD volunteer. Because my son was in a bad car accident in 1988. There were seven kids in the car, no seat belts, and two kids died. And my son is still paralyzed in one leg from the accident. Scott considers his son lucky. The day of the accident, doctors told him his son would not live through the night. They were wrong. And now he uses that experience to teach kids about driving safety. <laughs> Scott uses visuals like a seatbelt simulator, which exposes the rider to a sudden stop at just seven miles an hour. And the effect it can have when a child is unbuckled. One or two, two kids, if they're in a wreck and they got their seat belts, and they'll say, I wore it because that was here. Or driving a golf cart while wearing glasses, which blur your vision, simulating driving drunk. It's a message well received by some students who say they won't bow to peer pressure. Uh, I think it's very important because important there won't really be much peer pressure because they, they know not to do it, so they probably won't try to get you to do it. So. so even if Scott only reaches through to one teenager. And I joke with the kids, I have them laughing and make them enjoy it. It's worth his effort. In Fountain, Greg Miller, KRDO, News Channel 13. Last year, about 20 kids showed up for the demonstration, but more teachers saw the lesson and wanted their students involved, too. School resource officers organized the week-long classes and say that enrollment is up to 60 per class.